Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to showcase for you guys wherever you are a Kansai special and I'm going to say made in Japan every time I'm going to do Kansai special all the Kansai special machines are made in Japan and they're great, great sewing machines and this is a flat seamer flat seam industrial sewing machine made by Kansai uh, we new tech, we also, our own brand, we have one and you could see it on our website, but this is a concert special. Uh, and the model number right here is MFS660-04GFMHLAMDD60, and I'm gonna go over all this number. There's a number and there's a sub number, it's about how many, you know, uh, when, it's a, when there is a cutting unit on the machine, when there is the gauge, all of these things makes a difference. So to tell you honestly, uh, usually everything is USA is quarter inch, but uh, when it comes from Japan or China or Far East, they have it either 6.4, which is quarter inch, or uh, 5.6, which is a little bit like by millimeter, but we all go 6.4. 99% of the cover stitch and gauges for the uh, flat seam machines are 6.4. So I'm gonna go over the machine. This is going to a very good customer of ours. And this is not the first time that we're doing this machine. Uh, it's uh, operated by a whole thing, industrial uh, machine. Great, great sewing machine is a direct drive. Uh, meaning that there is a control panel only here, the on and off switch is right here, but this is the motor right here. This tiny little thing is a quiet servo motor right here. It's a great machine. So um, to start, let's go over the di dimension 48 by 22 inch. Um, we have the height at 30, 30, 30 inch and a half. Uh, quarter inch shy of 31 inch. Uh, if you want to buy this machine, I tell you buy it fully assembled. Uh, machine is operated by air. And if you don't have air, it's okay. But I'm going to get to that. This is a regular air. And you could buy a $100 uh, air machine and operate this. But I, I, you could still do it without the air, but I will let you know. The person that ma this machine is going to, she doesn't have, she works from home, and she doesn't have air. So this machine is operated even the foot, if you take a look here, by air. But what we did, we had used a chain and we using a manual foot lifter. This is a manual food lifter. But I'm gonna go over the rest of the stuff. You will need air for suction, but it's okay. We'll get to all of that stuff. So what is flat seam machine to begin with? I'm sure you've seen now uh, lately, for past maybe 10, five years, a lot of yoga wear, a lot of active wear, a lot of tight uh, pants, workout, clothing, that has no seam, seamless sewing. And they look like this. This is the actual sewing, the top and the bottom. But in reality, it's taking two fabric and bringing them together and sewing them and cutting the extra fabric and making them flat. That's why they call it flat seam, like what I did here right now. I'm not a very good sewer, but I just did it five minutes ago. Here you go, this is the back, meaning that this is the bottom, and this is the top. See when I started, this is over. You have to good, be very, very, pro not very professional, but you have to have some knowledge of sewing. You bring these two pieces together, and you start sewing. You see, in the beginning, I made a boo-boo, but going on, I did a good job. So this is mostly for active work. You bring them together so it's seamless. When this thing touches your body, when you're running, when you're working out, when you're swimming, when you're dancing, 
it's not bothering your body and your skin. And if you could come now to this side, we're gonna talk about the rest of the... So here is where the machine shows. It's six thread, the thread standard included. The machine, everything, is, when you buy this machine, everything is um, uh, assembled and ready to go. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, gauges here that I'm not gonna go through these gauges. There, are, there is a book in here that tells you exactly what everything is for. You get an extra air pipe right here. A kit, it's very nice of, uh, really, of Kansai Special that uses extra needles. I'm gonna show you, I mean, extra needle, extra knives and all that stuff. I'm gonna go over it. And this is the booklet. Uh, owner's manual, part list. Needle, accessories. The needle, if you guys wanna know, if you're watching this uh, and you wanna know if you have, is UY1 and 18. And obviously size 12. You got some oil. And I'm gonna keep this back here for you to show you what is this. We got owner's manual regarding the vacuum system. We got some more vacuum system, a key. Um, and again, more accessories. These are all for the feet for here. And Again, you watch my video and you see more videos online and you know how this thing works. It looks very different than any reg regular normal string machine, but uh, it's very easy to work with, honestly. And uh, so what it is is when it, you bring two fabric here and you bring them together right here and you have extra accessories if you want it to be wider and you want to be open. So this is the most the standard type. You bring the fabric and you bring them together and you lift the foot and you put that thread, the left side and the right side fabric underneath and you let it go and you start sewing. And when, when you start sewing, the, this machine has an, we're connected to the air. And what the air is connected to these hoses as well and it's gonna take the cut fabric, the extra fabric, the lint, the extra, then it's gonna suck it through here, hold, and it's gonna go to this right here. And they, before it used to be a, a, a garbage can type of thing here, but they made it very, very easy. You're just gonna put this here, it comes with this. Am I doing it right? And you just pull this and voila. And whenever you feel it's full or getting full, you just take it out, put it in garbage. Uh, threading it is a, a, a little bit hard, so you don't take the thread out. You just follow the thread that was with it here today. It comes with a built-in light in here. And I'm using another light from new tech, just to show you guys how it's working. Um, again, auto suction by the air, food lifter, uh, needle uh, positioning system right here. Uh, here is the motor, 110 volt for you guys that wanna know. One more thing, this is an amazing thing that they did here. Uh, this is a chin for, if you guys are working and you don't wanna hit your chin, there is a bumper here. The beautiful bumper right here. Oil, uh, they already put oil in there, oil goes here under the gauge here. This is um, threading and oiling and all that stuff. It, uh, it's part of the owner's manual. All right, so here I have a very two span, spandex both ways really heavy stuff, okay? And I'm gonna start doing it again. You have to be very good, your hand is gonna be very good. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring this to the edges. I'm gonna leave this here, okay? I'm gonna, 
raise and leave it right here and you hold this here then you're going to bring this one the other end of the fabric and you're just going to bring it here and raise and down all right you bring from here both these together all right and again this is a needle guard by the way and uh needle guard, eye guard, whatever you want to call them. But I'm gonna open them up so you guys see. There are two knives, moving knives, that come from left and from right. And this is the job of the moving knives. It's gonna move the knives and cut the extra fabric. And when the machine start going, the air here, the, um, the air here is gonna vacuum the air out. Now, there are machines that have both air and vacuum, and these people at Kansai are very smart. They made a machine that you could use only air, and it will vacuum the suction as well. All right, I'm gonna just start sewing. I'm not gonna go fast. I want you to see what's going on, and here we go. You see? You hear that, that sound that you hear is a suction going through the vacuum. And then if you could zoom here, you'll see what I mean by cutting the edges and sewing. So I'm coming up to here. And I'm gonna just pull. I'm gonna go faster every way for you see. You see this thing is going in here. It's sucking the extra fabric. And did you see the fab, uh, the thread? You see the... I want you guys to see the knife. I'm gonna... So you just heard the air compressor started going in the background, but honestly, really, you don't need a big, large, if you're running only this machine, you could get away with a small one, okay? If you're working from home, you could get one from Home Depot or Lowe's for a hundred bucks and get it going. Uh, we just shut down the... Again, my I'm not very good at sewing. I might miss some part, but I want you guys to. All of these people that are these days, all of these most popular uh, leggings and all that stuff, this is the machine. And this is how they do it. It's about um, $6,000 sewing machine. More than that, a little bit, depending. How do you want it? Set, how do you want it? Uh, okay, and there should be a cutter here too. Uh, is that cutter, I think? There should be a cutter somewhere to cut this. Okay, so this is what I did. This is the front. Let me cut. This is the old one. And I cut, we, by purpose, we color, um, code the thread, meaning that we put different type of thread um, to see if we could, if there is a problem, if there is a, a skip, if there is something going on, we could figure out which one it is. So this is the front, and the idea is that when you stretch, it won't rip the thread, you see? And then this is the back, look at that. My mama is so proud of me today. I tell you that much, look at this. So uh, there should be one that cuts the thread. Oh, here, I'm sorry. I think here you cut the thread. Here, done. Um, 
I just want to see if I have a, a, a thicker fabric um, and we, we probably could cut right now and I'm going to start the other one because I don't know if I have the fabric. Oh, I think I have the fabric. If you, while you're showing around the machine, the back, the front, I'm going to grab a very uh, quick uh, So, if you guys could hear me, I'm back. I'm getting a very quick, I just didn't want to stop and go. Um, um, I'm gonna do the the other five ink. The scuba divers are using it. What do you call them? The, uh, oh my God. So again, if you are using this machine and you wanna work from home and you don't have air, you could still do it. But you see this function of pulling the fabric the extra fabric will not work. You just have to, the fabric is gonna be uh, uh, like hanging and it's gonna, you know, but with a small, tiny air compressor, you could do it. I'm opening all of this for you guys to see. These are places that you could adjust the thread, the, 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 the loopers. Um, if you come here, either is a needed positioning system right here that you could adjust. Everything is computerized. The motor, you could adjust the, um, the uh, speed. Here is the light right here. It's here and I have now the fabric. What do you call this fabric? Yeah, I have this, some of this is scuba fabric. Neoprene? Neoprene, neoprene, I'm sorry, my bad. So neoprene, and neoprene is, look at this. They have thickness, I think this is one eight, you know, thank you so much. So we're gonna do this because a lot of people are gonna do neoprene, all right? Thank you very, very much for getting this for me and thank you guys for at home for holding for me. So it's a little bit easier for me to do this and we're gonna see how we're gonna, oh, my finger, holy God. Uh, again, this is thicker and heavier and never did this and we're gonna do, see what's gonna happen. We're gonna put this here and we're gonna go. Let me close this, make sure. Oh my God, David, what are you doing? Here we go. Uh, one goes here and voila look at that uh, this is on a thick a scuba they called it i ca you called it neoprene uh amazing look at that so even people at Kansai they said they may not work on this and i have a customer looking for this i'm going to send them this sample she he's going to be so proud of me uh again a scuba look at that Unbelievable. And sometimes you want to do sleeves. Let's say small sleeves that hold the, um, let's say imagine this being small and those cooler that you put your beer in it and you're, you know, the, 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 sh the reason there is a shape like this, you might ask, hey, why is there a shape like this? Why do we need this? Because when you want to do sleeves, and I'm gonna bring this here. I'm gonna put this down here. And, and there's a fly that is bothering me. I have to let this go here. Come on, baby. 
pretty cool. Imagine you had a small sleeve, the tube, I just took it out of here. There is no other machine that could do this. It has to be this shape, so you better bring two, one piece of garment, so you would bring both of them together, and you sew them through, and you get this. Amazing, 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 inside, outside, look at that, great job. Thank you, Kansai people, for showing this, making this sewing machine. Thank you, guys. Please go to our website. We might not have this on our website, but we're putting it on. But uh, this is one of the sewing machines that customers wanted, and we brought it in. So there's so many other sewing machines that are in the world that I don't have them. But if you call me and you request them, I could pretty much get them for you. Just want to thank you guys for uh, watching. Let me know which other sewing machine you want me to um, um, showcase for you. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.